Below, I could see Ultar's truck. Let's get the hell out of here. And we escaped? Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. All right, uh, let's see here. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. I'm sure you'll find it very useful. Uh, okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Alrighty then. So let's get out of here. Bum bum bum. Wonder what you have to say about the lens. Oh hi. Hello, my handsome friend. You have anything interesting to say about the lens? Does this lens mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Well, that was enthralling. Okay. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Okay, then. Let's get out of here. So, I think we need to head to the museum and talk to Andre. So, we'll go and do that. Do, 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 do. Let's go see what he has to say. Okay. What about you, Mr. Guard? What do you have to say about the lens? Pardon me? Oui, monsieur? Oh, it's you. Well, what do you want now? You're not going to try to hide in that closet again, are you? <laughs> nah, it's okay. Does this lens mean anything to you? Not a thing, monsieur. Of course not. Why would it? I hear your tripod was stolen. Nothing travels faster than bad news. It is true. It happened last night. I always said that alarm was no good. Okay. Thanks for your help. All right, let's talk to Andre. How you doing there, bro? Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. What's with the long face? Haven't you heard? The tripod was stolen. No kidding. I just don't get it. So many other treasures. And the thieves choose the tripod. A modern day alchemist, perhaps? Who knows? There's no shortage of crazies in Paris. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Well, we, of course. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes, uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. 
In occidenta cita est in ora mundi. The island of Britain lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange. That map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. All right, what do you think about the lens? Does this lens mean anything to you? Nothing. Oh, no, nobody seems to think much about it. Hmm. What can you tell me about Philippe Lebel? He was responsible for the extermination of the Knights Templar. I know that, but why was Philip so hot to get rid of them? Mostly because he wanted to get his hands on their treasure. He had an enormous debt and a lifelong war with England to fund. The trouble was the Templars were a highly respected holy order. Hmm. If the Templars were so powerful, how did this Philippe dude wipe them out? By underhanded dishonorable means, of course. The Pope was Clement V, a Frenchman. French, huh? Handy for Philippe. Fate had nothing to do with it. He was Philippe's puppet, planted to further his political ambitions. Philippe wanted the wealth of the Templars and used Clement to get it. So what was Philippe's plan? What happened? Sealed orders were sent out all over France, not to be opened until the appointed day. That day was Friday, July 13th. That's the origin of our superstition regarding that date. At dawn, throughout the whole of France, the Templars were arrested. It was the biggest bust in the history of the world. What happened to the Templars after their arrest? Philippe was out for blood, so he handed the Templars over to the Inquisition. Not surprisingly, they confessed to a sensational and sordid list of blasphemies. Like what? Oh, the sort of things you read about in the gutter press. Devil worship, lewd sexual practices, <laughs> spitting on the Holy Cross, that kind of thing. Well, that must have given their lawyers some headaches. Whether or not the accusations were true, this was not good publicity. Most of the charges were probably cooked up, <laughs> but so were the Templars, <laughs> literally. Hundreds of them were found guilty of heresy and flamed grilled at the stake. They died protesting their innocence. Hmm. But surely Philippe had no proof of his charges against the Templars. A man will admit anything under torture. The Inquisition fabricated some nonsensical demon called Baphomet and then suggested to their victims that this was what they worshipped. But they didn't have to agree. The records show a Templar coming to trial with both feet burnt off. Fragments of flesh and charred bone falling from the stamps. What would you not admit to, to stop such torment? So there was no truth at all in the Baphomet accusations? Not a shred. Almost every victim described the idol differently. No. Baphomet never existed outside the sick minds of the Inquisitors. Hmm. So Philippe stole the Templar's riches, huh? Oh no, they weren't stupid. The King's troops marched first on the Temple in Paris, then to the Templar home port at La Rochelle. There was no trace of the treasure, and the fleet of the Knights Templar had set sail. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh we oui, pilgrims in their thousands on their way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time.
The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Do you think the manuscript could be the map to the Templar treasure? Frankly, no. That's too far-fetched. The manuscript is interesting enough and a rare find, but that's all. Wouldn't it be terrific if it was a map, though? The treasure of the Knights Templar. A romantic notion, Georgie, but extremely improbable. Hmm. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. All right. What to do now? Okay, so do we need to go back to Nico's apartment? I'm not sure. Possibly. Or maybe we need to head somewhere else. I'm not really sure. Um, is there anywhere else that we can head here? Yeah, I I, I think we need to go here now. Hmm. Ooh. What's going on with this? Uh-huh. Oh, dude, seriously. Hold on, there's some dude here. There was a crotchety old guy watering the lawn. If this garden was all his own work, he was more capable than he looked. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, is this the De Vasconcellos house? Who wants to know? I could tell the old coot was going to be trouble. My name's George Stobart. I was wondering whether... The house is not open to the public. This is the De Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the countess and myself. Hmm. I don't suppose this red nose means anything to you, does it? Ha! El flojo! El who? El flojo! He is a clown on state television. Oh. Is he any good? He is as funny as scabies. Without the laughs. <laughs> Do you recognize this man? No. This lab pass mean anything to you? Nothing. Do you know what this is? See, I have a similar tool for opening culverts on the estate. Have you got any use for a fistful of plaster? No. What do you make of this? So that's it. You're a salesman. If I was hawking medical supplies, I can think of better places to hawk them. <laughs> Would you like to shake hands? I do not think so, senor. Look at this tissue. It's a tissue with some greasy muck on it. Yes, that's right. Have you ever seen a lens like this before? No, senor. Never. What do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor, except the pleasure of your absence. The guy was obviously protecting the Countess against the whole world, but why? Tell me about the Countess de Vasconcellos. She doesn't receive guests. 
That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won the lottery, has she? Uh... No, she hasn't won the lottery. A more cunning man might have claimed that she had. Oh yeah? They might have, might they? And that more cunning man would have been kicked off the premises. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. Well, I'll see you around. Adios. Let's see here. The main part of the house was old, but nowhere near as old as the gatehouse section. Hey, you. Yeah, what is it? You would not like it if people just wandered into your home, would you? Well, no, I guess not. Then show a little consideration. Okay. Uh, sorry. So I guess we can't go in there. Hmm, it's over here. Hmm. The hose ran from some sort of utility room all the way to the lawn. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. <laughs> yeah, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. No, would it? Hmm. What else can we do? Any Anything on this? No? Okay. Let's go the other way, shall we? Bum, bum, bum. I'm no student of architecture, but the little building looked old. I wondered if it was some sort of summer house. Possibly. Hmm. The door was a handsome piece of work, in keeping with the ornateness of the rest of the building. Rats. It's locked. Of course it is. From a distance, I thought it might be a summer house. Close up, I wasn't so sure. I didn't want to mess with the building. Down below the estate, I could see the sea stretching away. It was a beautiful sight, and looked a lot like the scene from the manuscript. I wanted to go swimming, but I didn't have the time. <laughs> The statue on the top of the building looked like the one in the Parisian church. He seemed to be looking out to sea. For what? I wasn't about to go clambering on rooftops if I didn't have to. Mm. Anyway, I think we're going to call it an episode here, so... Yeah. <laughs>